Good morning and God bless you. I'm reading from the book of Romans chapter 12 and verse number 11 in King James Version. Not slothful in business, fervent in spirit, serving the Lord. If you want to be prosperous, there are important principles. For the past two days, we've been talking about careful planning, strategic planning makes you prosper. But one very important one we're seeing today is that if you're going to be prosperous in whatever you do, you must never be slothful. To be slothful means to be lazy. You must run away from laziness. You must learn how to be on time. You must learn how to go after your goal. You must learn how to do things um, rightly. So this scripture is saying not slothful in business. Meaning, therefore, God will want you to be a good, creative, strategic leader in your business. You must take the lead. Everything rise and fall on leadership. That's what John Maxwell said. So if you are going to be prosperous in your business, you must learn how not to be lazy, not to procrastinate. That's something you can do today. Don't leave it for tomorrow. And then that scripture explains how to conquer slothfulness in business. Number two, favor in the spirit, meaning you must be energized. You must look at business from the spiritual angle. Because our life as believers is spiritual. We are spirit beings. We were born of the spirit. He that is born of the flesh is flesh. He that is born of the spirit is spirit. So we are born of the spirit. And God will want us to approach our business with fervency in the spirit. And what does it mean to be fervent in the spirit? Serving the Lord. If you're going to give God his own, he will give you his blessing. It is the Lord that gives you the power to make rich. So you can become so involved in your business that you don't care about God's own business, God's house. God wants you to serve him. Uh, the more you serve God, the more he energizes you with strength and power to get well. So these three principles are so, so important that you are not spiritually deficient. If you are spiritually deficient, your business will not move the way you ought to be. Make sure you are in church when you should be in church. Make sure you pray when you should pray. Make sure you read your Bible when you should read your Bible. Serve God in the capacity of evangelism and every other service available in your local church. And then that helps your spirit fervent and that takes away being slothful in business. I'd like you to hear what one passage of the scripture, I'll put it in 2 Chronicles chapter 17 and verse number 12. And Jehoshaphat was great exceedingly. Yeah. And he built in Judah castles and cities of stores. Whoa, plazas. This is the scripture. And he had much business in the cities of Judah. And the men of war, mighty men of valor, were in Jerusalem. So there's an example of an entrepreneur called by the name Jehoshaphat in the scripture. He was a great man. He built castles, number one. God will want you to build. Number two, the Bible said he built cities of stores. He has, you know, departmental stores everywhere. And he had much business in the city. God will want you to have not just one business. If you have started one particular one, God wants you to um, have a multiple stream of income. So God will want you to be fathered in opening more branches of your businesses. And the Bible said the mighty men of war, and they were in Jerusalem. So he had departmental. He was a mighty man of war at the same time. He was involved in business at the same time. He built castles. God will want you to get yourself multiple source of income. Multiple things you're doing, you can invest in, using the power of God that is upon your life to create wealth. I pray for every idea you have had that has not materialized. The Lord will infuse in you the fervency of the Spirit to start what God will want you to do in Jesus' name. God bless you. 